Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten, I have your Gemini money flow and uh, love energy reading for the month of September. This is a, just a short reading, um, and it's just going to give you broad overall energies. Uh, it may not resonate with all of you, hopefully it will. Um, if you make sure to subscribe to my channel, the chances of it resonating more so with you will be greater because I always ask when I'm shuffling the cards that um, the reading would resonate with my subscribers and those watching. So make sure to do that. Uh, please subscribe, hit the like button, and um, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. Also, I'd like to invite you to join me on Patreon where you can support this channel, become a Patreon subscriber. The link is in my description box below. You can also donate to this channel. There's a donate button on the home page and you will also find a link to that in the description box below. So Gemini, you have the Six of Swords reversed, the Ten of Swords reversed as your challenge, and the Hanged Man as your outcome. You can't escape, you can't run, and you can't hide from your problems, Gemini. This is, we're going to do the money part first, but you could apply this to your love life if that's your scenario. You can't escape or run from your problems, and you are still tied to this energetically or legally. If you had left in the past separated or tried to evade dealing with this issue whether it be in money or in love you will be experiencing the revisitation of the matter in September because I see a retracing of your steps or a repeating of old patterns if you have a point to make with someone or a destination that you're trying to get to you're gonna find it difficult to get across that point or to that destination. Not having the right words, not having the right information, not having enough money to achieve satisfaction. You may need some help, Gemini. Maybe some legal help? For some of you, this could be a lawsuit or eviction notice arriving. Let's hope not. Money-wise, you may be running away from financial woes. This is not a time to tuck tail and run. However, you may feel like you don't know what to do about your situation, how to manage it, how to fix it. But if you put some effort into it, if you really seek some professional advice, you may be able to get your finances under control. Sorry about all the background noise today, guys. Your challenge or influence is the Ten of Swords reverse, so whoever you're dealing with, Gemini, may want blood, right? But you can't squeeze blood out of a turnip, can you? They're trying to beat a dead horse. They're not done with you. You think, they're, you think you're done, maybe you think you've escaped this, but I see it coming back, and they're, not, they're refusing to accept the end of the matter, okay? They're pursuing this. They would like to work things out with you if they could. It feels like for them, it's a do or die situation as well, you know. And it feels like a betrayal to them that you are trying to evade the issue or escape this issue. You know, you've got a, they, you've got responsibilities and it affects other people. So I feel like that's why they can't let this go. You're trying to run and escape. Um, but if you they let you go, it'll only get worse for them. Gemini, remember, especially with the Six of Swords, wherever you go, there you are, right? This is going to follow you. This is going to follow you in life, in your digital identity, in your credit history, in your energy field. You really can't escape from this. The only way to really truly escape from this is to turn face and deal with it. Handle it legitimately. Handle your business. It's the only real true way to put this behind you once and for all so that you can have peace. So 
So I decided to look at the issue from a new perspective, right, with this hangman. You don't want to be stuck in this forever, do you? Stuck in legal red tape or finding actions taken up as a uh, consequence against you, tied up and stuck by information that will only block your forward advancement for years to come. The advice of the cards, and I would say do not ignore this advice, Gemini, is to get some professional help and deal with your situation. You don't have to face this alone. But a sacrifice of money and or pride is required by you in order to get moving, in order to get to try and get out of the situation. You're going to have to spend some money and you're going to have to let go of your pride. If you can't afford to get help, ask someone for help and pray about it and know that you're not alone. In the area of your love life, with the hangman, you're at a crossroads, Gemini, in your relationship or in your love life. Somebody's got hang-ups and issues or traumas that need to be addressed. And they may have, or someone may have a, a preconception of what love should look like, but that conception of what it should look like is a bit unrealistic or could seem strange or warped or unattainable to those outside of you or to those outside of that ideal vision, you know. I'm sorry, I'm talking about, I, I just went into the first person, second person. Um, whoever it is who has the hang-ups, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with, may have an unrealistic ideal of what love should look like or feel like or be like or act like. And I don't know if that's you or the person that you're dealing with. You may feel trapped in a relationship with somebody who has these kind of hang-ups or these are hang-ups that are keeping you trapped and limited in your love life. And I feel you want to release yourself from this outdated, stale thinking or connection. Your challenge, again, is to get some help. Professional help, psychological help. You've done a lot of work on your own, I see, with this Ten of Swords reverse. But professional help can make the greater difference in releasing old baggage, imprints, patterns, and phobias or traumas. Right? Psychological healing may be needed here. It could be that you have a history of cheating and betrayal, doing wrong to others, or being done wrong by others. I'm not sure what your story is. You apply it to your situation. But you really can't fix this alone, although you've tried. Wherever you go, there you are. And you end up repeating this over and over and over. So it's pretty deep. It goes pretty deep. And you're going to need to get to the root of the issue to really clear it. The root of the issue is spiritual and it is mental. So that's something to think about. If you're in a relationship, you may be feeling trapped and want to get away from it, from this energy, because of your hang-ups or theirs. Or if you've been separated from your partner, I see you returning to the situation. You may think the worst is over, Ten of Swords reverse, and you can get up and start all over again, right? But the situation is doomed to repeat itself until you really deal with what went wrong or what's going wrong. Until you really deal with it, either together or on your own, or release it, it's going to repeat itself. I, I'm here to give you the bad news. But you're in this loop. If you're single and you have nobody, 
You haven't been able to move forward in your love life for a long time. Because you haven't fully released or recovered from old losses, betrayals, and traumas. And your conception of what love should look like or be like isn't truly feasible. It's not the norm. Where I'm not saying you're not normal, I'm just saying it's not what normal it's not what most people accept as normal. And that's why shit doesn't work out. And if you're wondering why, now you know. So that's a pretty straightforward message. I'm going to give you your... I apologize for not being able to do a video recording for you today. And it's a st static picture. But um, when I run short of time, this is the best way. As I can upload in like a minute when I do it this way. So let's do uh, the Chinese fortune reading cards as your advice or possibly a fortune. Let's first ask in regards to your money situation. What is your fortune for the month of September for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, Sign, Gemini's. I only want one card. Two cards fell out. These cards are read upright only. Um, nothing's falling out, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. We're going to do the money first. Money or money fortune first. And you got spirit symbol. And I'm going to shuffle again and pull a card for your love life. I shuffle three times. I just feel like shuffling three times and then I'm going to cut. And this is the card for your love life. You got um, soul symbol. So you got spirit symbol and soul symbol. Isn't that interesting? So spirit symbol for your money or your money reading or oracle is the period ahead could see you change your career from out of the blue. This card has a strong energy towards careers which serve or help others. So moving into those areas will see strong spiritual growth and enrich your life. The suffering of those less fortunate could point to lots more charitable work as well as paid job opportunities in the future. Hmm. You don't need to be overly concerned about your money. The focus now is on your true destiny and what you're meant to be doing with your life from now on. So I can see that, and that totally changes, not doesn't change the reading, but it just help, allows me to see the reading from another perspective. Um, with that Six of Swords reversed, you're, you're, you, you would like to make a change, but maybe you can't seem to get away from it. Um, you, you keep trying to beat a dead horse, and you're thinking about this change a lot, but you're still hung up and, and not making any forward movement. It's time to follow your destiny. And to follow a, a path of spiritual growth for yourself. So perhaps that type of work where you're working spiritually with spiritual um, energies or helping others in a more charitable or healing way is is uh, advised for you at this time. Part of what may be keeping you stuck could be a concern over your money and focus upon the money, but. Spirit is saying, follow the path of your true destiny. That's what you're meant to be doing. And maybe that's why you can't really move forward or move ahead. And you're just kind of stuck where you are. Discontented. Maybe even in a painful or uh, suffering circumstances that you'd rather not have to suffer. So, you know, you could look at that from the career perspective from this card. So I think that was helpful. So let's look at your love oracle. You have the soul symbol. In your relationships, this card says you could easily find yourself meeting the love of your life, a soulmate connection if single, or searching for love 
through taking a course or developing a new skill. Diet and exercise is of the utmost importance with this card, so pay attention to health issues. Um, so that's good. That's saying that there's potential, but you know, unless you release yourself from the, some of these hang-ups, I don't know how long that potential will last. But um, if you enjoyed your reading and you got some insight from it, please let me know. Please, please make sure to leave your comments in the comment section and share this video with your friends, your Facebook, and your social media network. I really appreciate your subscribing and supporting this channel in any way that you can. And we'll see you in um, October. Blessings, Gemini. Have a wonderful September. Bye.